Today I come to present my work, Monostar, Mono Camera Scene Level Tracking and Reconstruction. This work aims to acquire the tracking and reconstruction result for multiple objects in the scene simultaneously on real time. The first work in this track is Mask Fusion by Runs on 2018. Mask Fusion first segment the scene into multiple parts using semantic segmentation. Then for each rigid part, Mask Fusion perform a rigid slam. More recently, Hounan et al. proposed Star No Prior. Different from previous work only being able to address rigid objects. By first applying a non-rigid transformation and then perform segmentation based on topology, Star No Prior can model non-rigid objects in the scene. Although powerful, Star No Prior requires at least three cameras, which makes it impractical in real mobile robot. However, it is not trivial to transfer from multiple camera setting to single camera setting. The main reason is that single camera cannot provide enough validate data association. And it is hard to handle both non-rigid deformation and topological change with single camera. To address this problem, we propose a new 2D loss and a new type of deformation graph in our system. We will discuss them in this method part. The key technique behind Monostar is non-rigid reconstruction. As shown in the right side, we use a spatial graph to represent the deformation. Each node on this deformation graph represent a local rigid transformation. You can regard this deformation graph as a skeleton and the reconstructed geometry as skin. The skin will be moving along with the skeleton. This is the whole pipeline of our proposed system. We use a two-thread system. The first thread will pre-process the measurement and perform semantic segmentation. The second thread is focusing in non-rigid alignment and geometry fusion. The main innovation for this work lies in the non-rigid alignment part. Due to time limit, we will mainly cover this part. The goal of non-rigid alignment is to align the previous geometry model ST-1 to the current measurement MT. The solution is represented as a warp field WT, defined on a deformation graph. Here ST-1 is a surfle-based geometry. MT is the current measurement. GT-1 is the deformation graph. WT is the warp field. Non-rigid alignment is solve this WT by solving a massive optimization problem. We have three optimization terms in Monostar. The first loss term is a common plane-based ICP loss. It uses a projective data association. You can think it is like the camera will raycast many arrays. For points on the measurement and points in the geometry, if they are on the same camera array, they will be regarded as a match. The formula is writing on the right side. Vs here is point on the previous geometry. Vm here is a point on the current measurement. Nm is the normal of current measurement. This whole term reflects the distance between the point in previous geometry and its corresponding measurement plane. When we optimize this term, the surface of previous geometry S will be dragged to the current measurement plane M. Now we want to discuss a new 2D loss added to Monostar. The problem of PICP loss is it cannot capture the motion within a plane. Starno Prior uses mutal camera setting to address this problem. But Monostar is a single camera setting, so we introduce a new 2D loss using optical flow. This new 2D loss provide us with a way to produce a dense registration within the camera plane. We use Raft plus GMA structure to predict the optical flow from last frame to current frame. This picture provides a demonstration on how this 2D data association looks like. From this example, we can get a rough idea that optical flow loss will be a good complement towards the PICP loss. The 2D loss formula is written on the right side. Again, Vs here represents a point on the previous geometry, Vm here is a point on the measurement. These two points are matched based on optical flow. This 2D loss will drag the geometry point to the same camera array with the measurement point. As all massive optimization problem, non-rigid alignment also needs a regulation term. Regulation term can smooth the optimization function and stabilize the converge process. The traditional regulation term is called as rigid as possible loss. The formula is written on the left side, it is trying to make all deformations on different nodes as similar as possible. Thus it is why it is called ASAP loss. However, this regulation has a drawback in terms of dealing with topological change. For example, if we pick up a cup from the table. When using ASAP loss, the table plane will be also picked up. Thus, we propose the semantic aware adaptive deformation graph on the right side. This deformation graph will store semantic labels for each node. And it will apply a much weaker constraints between nodes that currently belongs to different semantic classes. 
This new adaptive regulation term helps Monostar to deal with topological changes. Finally, the optimization term is written as this. I optimize this term on the warping field. We are able to align the geometry from last frame to current measurement. After the non-rigid alignment, we will perform geometry update and etc. Due to time limit, we cannot talk them in very detail. Since reconstruction and tracking ground truth data is very hard to acquire. Our experiments are all qualitative comparison. This is seen where a student is passing one basketball from one hand to another. As you can see, Monostar is able to capture the fast motion and topological change correctly, while our baseline method, surfle warp and mask fusion cannot. This is a scene where we push down a coffee cup. Finally, this is a scene where we push a coffee cup on the table.